What's up guys, Big Banana 12 here, and today we are going to be playing some Apoc Z. I've wanted to do a video on this game for a super, super, super long time, but now I'm finally getting around to it, so I'm super happy, and I hope you guys are going to like this. Um, yeah, let's jump right into it. This is basically like DayZ, if you don't know what that is, it is a zombie survival game in which you have to avoid getting attacked by zombies and you have to scavenge for food and water and medical supplies and weapons to defend yourself from not only the undead but the living so yeah let's just look for a little server here um, yeah this is pretty good click on join join hopefully this works yep there we go Alright, let's just spawn right in here. Okay, alright. I'm just gonna wait here in this tree. Um, I do have a pretty good amount of stuff on me. This is just the first episode, so I'm gonna... Basically what I want to do for every episode is start off fresh. But since this is the first one, I figured I'd just go with what I had because my gear right now is pretty phenomenal. I have my three favorite weapons. Uh, the sniper rifle, the um, AK-47, and the 9mm pistol. And I have plenty of ammo for all of these weapons. That's a lie. I only have plenty of ammo for my pistol. But I do have 30 rounds and 13 in each weapon, so that's fine. Um, I got some gas. Not much I can do with that. I mean, I can refill cars with it, which is cool. There is vehicles in this game. So... This is basically, alright, so this is what your inventory looks like. Um, these are bandages used for healing. This is water used for your hydration. And if your water, which you can see down at the bottom left of my screen, if that gets too low, you start to lose health and you cannot sprint. Um, and your food, which you f can find all over the map, use is that um, regenerates your health. So, if you're really low on health and you eat some food, it will boost your health up. And also, if your food is too low, you begin to lose health and you cannot sprint. So, that's a pretty cool feature. Um, there's plenty of ammo in this map, in any server, really. Okay, so I'm going to pull out my axe here. And I'm going to go run up in this military base and see what they got. See if there's any good loots. But... The fact that all these zombies are outside right now makes me question that somebody's been here. Yeah, it looks like somebody's already been here. Um, yeah, because usually there is loot right here. And there's loot back here, which I'm not seeing any. Yeah. Do I have a flashlight? I do not. Um, just like... In DayZ, they start you off with a flashlight, but they also start you with an axe. Because every server, <clears throat> excuse me, every server has a generated 2,000 zombies in it. And those are all over the map, so it's crazy. Um, yeah. So they don't want to just start you off like you, like helpless. So they give you an axe and a flashlight because it does get severely dark at night, as you can see. Really sorry about that. Um, but it makes for a good effect. It's It gets super dark and it's just really exciting, especially combat at night. That is, whew, that is some frightening stuff. <laughs> but yeah, um, I'm just going to run around in this. Basically what I'm going to do is just run around today and just show you what it's like. Um, you know, try to gather a couple supplies, maybe run into another player, that'd be pretty awesome. Hopefully the sun will be coming up soon, and it looks like it might be, I'm not sure. I don't remember what time of day it was when I spawned. But yeah, so, you know what, we'll, oh yeah, sun's definitely coming up, so that's good. Uh, we'll head down here, because this is a police station right here. This is the major city. There are currently, I believe, don't quote me on this, five spawn points for players in the game. Like when you die and or first spawn in, there's five points in which you can do so. 
but they are all right around the front of this city. Oh. to turn off my notifications my bad all right so as you can see there zombies coming up um, we have a pistol with some pistol ammo that's that's good that's good um, come back around in here and there's usually boom right here look at all this pistol ammo I am not going to pick up any of this I'm actually gonna drop a couple things this ammo I don't have the gun for this is only one shot so I'll drop that Drop the gasoline. And yeah, so. Oh. That is another thing. Zombies are just ridiculous in this game. See, now I'm bleeding. Um, so I need to patch myself up. And I'll show you right now. I have some food. Eat it. Go from 68 to 78, which is good. Um, people are leaving this game left and right. It's only one other person left in this game now. <laughs> but, um, that's fine. We might run into them. We might not. Um, more players tend to join. So, maybe we'll get lucky. Let's see what I mean by the lag, though. The lag in this game is pretty, pretty severe. Zombies tend to do some freaky stuff. Um, let's see. Ooh, yes. We got food. Empty canteen. All right. These houses right here tend to have lots of food. Food and water and medical supplies. So, pick up one bandage and then we'll head over here. Go see what they got. Um, there are three military bases. There is an RV park in which spawns um, guns and ammo. There are, and a couple random spawns uh, amongst the map where um, guns and ammo tend to spawn. It's kind of random, I think. There's n not always going to be a gun there. You might find just ammo. You might find just a gun. You might find a compass. You never know. So the loot is pretty good. Every map tends to have lots of loot, so you'll always be stocked up on something. But the maps aren't very big, and they hold 15 players which mm, can cause problems with loot because if you do get a full server which doesn't usually work oh it by the way i didn't mention this but the game is only a dollar on the xbox live indie market store so like it's only a dollar so i'm not i'm not like just sitting here bashing it I'm, it's it is a really good game for the money it is phenomenal um updates should be coming out in the future um, not anytime soon unfortunately but in the future they are suspected to come out so see look at that that is ridiculous but the lag is just unreal in this game but I still play it I love it it's so much fun it is the closest thing I can get to day Z and as you can see I'm the new host because this other player has just left but that's fine I don't mind running around, picking up a little extra loot for myself. Hopefully I can get some more food. Yes, food and water. Full canteen. Uh, we'll head over here, actually, because the RV park is up this way. But yeah, so this game is just, you know, it's nothing too great, nothing too terrible. It's really fun, um, especially when you get a bunch of your friends in here. It's a really good time. Um, just running around and hiding and sniping and stuff like that. You can hide behind trees. And you can also go into third-person mode. It's probably really difficult to see my character right now. But you can. There is a third-person mode here. I'll run around in it for a little while. But I do not, by all means, never, ever do I ever use third-person mode. Just because like playing like this is impossible for me. It's so hard. Um... Especially in combat, defending myself from zombies, trying to like just maneuver myself. I don't know, I just don't like it. Um, I like that first person feel, like I'm really in the action. And it just, because like, once you go into first person, everything's right there in front of you. It just feels so much better. This is the RV park that I was just saying. Um, there is a gun and ammo spawn in here. Right on these steps. Oops, somebody looted it right over on these steps 
Yeah, somebody's been here. All right, so those guys were here. So that's fine. I mean, it's no big deal. I got plenty of ammo. But also, up that way is a military base. I'm not going to run up there right now. I'm actually going to be calling this video here in a second because it's just the first episode. And next episode, I will start fresh. I will hopefully get into a little more combat. And I might even have a special new guest who has become quite a friend of mine recently and he's a real cool guy so hopefully he'll hop on the next episode with me and we'll do some more cool stuff I hope you guys enjoy this game if so let me know by leaving a like and or comment and uh, yeah so I hope you enjoyed this keep an eye out for the next one and have a great day guys peace